All right, here we go. More ellipses. This problem is absolutely on your test, although I don't think the foci equal the covertices on your test. Okay, so the covertices are along the smaller or the minor or the semi minor axis. Yeah. So since those are right three and left three, oh, by the way, we're doing number 24. Well, for those of you following along at home, this is number 24. I just copied all of them so you would know what the directions were last time. You so we know that this thing is oriented vertically, and I think we also know that it's centered at zero, zero, right? Yes. So that's nice. The foci are here and here. Okay. And then the co-vertices are here and here. And then just humor me. Are the vertices further away from the center than three or less far away? They, further. That's right. So this, this is going to have that type of shape. Okay. The question is to write an equation. In order to find the equation, we need to find that point and that point. Now, it's this is what we'll call B. This is what we'll call A. And the reason why is I know A is bigger than B. Yeah. And so I know that since ellipses involve pluses in the equation, they involve minuses to find the foci. So we're going to say a squared minus 3 squared equals 3 squared. So a squared minus 9 equals 9. Add 9 to both sides. I hope everyone knows why I just added 9. That's just 3 squared. And you get a squared is 18. Now, for real, we don't even need it to go any further than that. Yeah. Because we, we really want a squared. So I think, since it's oriented in the y direction and centered at 0, 0, it's going to be y squared over 18 plus x squared over 9 equals 1. Just for giggles. Oh, no. Oh, I know what to do. I know what to do. Oh, shoot. I can't put this into Desmos. Let's see what... I don't know if this has apps. Oh, yeah, it does. Go to Conix. We want a ellipse. Um, we think it's orientated this way. So we want to go down to 2, right? Our A, remind me, that was 9, right? Yeah. And our B was 18. Oh, no, no, backwards. So notice what they did here is they switched the order. They like to have X first always. Hold on a sec. Oh, this is added bonus because I'm actually helping you use your graphing calculator. Now, notice the difference. Remember, you can add things in any order. So I'm not here to say that I did it wrong yeah. or that they're doing it wrong, but theirs is different than mine. So I've made a mistake. With my X is my B according to my calculator. So our B should be 9. And our A should be 18. Our H and K are 0. Let's uh, graph it. And then can we do things with this? Yeah. How do we find out what we want? Alpha and then sub. Alpha. Enter. At least on my Okay, so I think if you put alpha, enter, that'll get you all the details you need. Let me see if I can do it with my mouse. That's what Sid showed me. I don't know. Okay. So that'll get you, but I'm telling you we're right. How's that? Yeah. And it looks pretty good. Does it? Yeah. No, no, no. This is wrong. Because look, this is going to nine. So let me go back to my apps. Do I have to go back to apps probably? Now this thing's just quitting. Oh, here we go. Ready? It's totally worth it. That's A squared on the bottom. So when I go back to 2, this should be radical 18. And this should be either radical 9 or 3. And now let's graph it. And now let's see if we can alpha solve. 
second solve. I just don't think it works on this yeah. one. Does that help? Yeah. And that's the right graph. I just set mine up. 